Hey team, it's Miss Green. Um, today I'm gonna go over your first homework assignment for Intro to Visual Arts, which is making this little swirly value drawing. So first off, yours does not need to be that big. Um, you guys did get kind of, most of the sketchbooks are smaller, um, but we did have some few large ones, so we gave out what we had left. So if you got a big one, you do not need to do that whole page. You in fact only need to do about half, so cut that paper in half or draw a line, okay? And how this starts out is you're gonna get just a blank piece of paper and pencil. And don't use your nice paper, just use your sketch paper, okay? Since it's a homework, it's not like a project, okay? It's just practice. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off and I'm just gonna draw some kind of loopy lines. Okay, so there's one, two, and I'm trying to get into areas that, you know, I haven't been yet. And the more loops you have, the more interesting it gets, really. Okay, I might do one more. I would say, you know, if you do at least like five of them, that's probably gonna be interesting enough. Okay, so that's five pretty good loop-de-loopy -loop lines. And then your next step is gonna be to go through and kind of number them. All right, and you have to have at least five values on this. Um, we just did six values with our earlier practice, so I know you can do at least five because you could do six. And when you place your numbers, okay, so I have a one, a four, and a two. First off, try not to draw your numbers too dark because otherwise when you start shading light values, if you have a dark number there, it may not work out. Um, I drew them kind of dark so you could see it on the camera, but in all practice, don't do it that way. And so... I'm gonna put, you know, I have a four and a two here, so maybe I'll put another one, maybe I'll put a three here. You kinda wanna make sure you don't have like a bunch of ones next to each other, okay? So kinda space them out a little bit. And you might end up actually doing more than five values. It's just the minimum. So in this example, I'm sure there's more than five. Maybe a two there, let's do, I got a five there, so maybe I'll switch that, put the five there and change this to a two. So you can kinda mix it up as you go, okay? And it's okay if two of them are right next to each other. If I need to have two twos there, then that's just how it's gonna be. And so here is a finished example um, that's less busy than this one. So this one had more lines going intersecting and this one kind of had bigger ones. So you can kind of choose what aesthetic you like better. And once you get all your numbers going, you can decide if number one's gonna be the darkest or number five, it's up to you. Um, I'll just go ahead and make number one dark. And so I'm just gonna go through and I'm gonna do smooth shading. Okay. And I'm just gonna fill in this little bubble and make it all nice and smooth, okay? And I'm gonna then make number four. So this one's gonna be a different value, not as dark, right? But I gotta make sure I cover up that number. And so on, number one's gonna be really light then. So I'll just kind of barely shade. If I need to erase my number before I shade, that may not be a bad idea. Okay. And then you are gonna do the smooth shading. So after I get this whole thing filled, I'm gonna use a paper towel and kind of smooth it out to get it all even, okay? So that it looks like this. Um, one last thing is as you're shading, okay, obviously I'm not done with this example here. I'm just kind of showing you guys on the fly. What I don't want to do is start going down here and shading, okay, and then going across here because then your hand is going to end up smearing it all. So try to work like from top, from left to right, top to bottom, okay? So I'm going to fill all of this shading this way, this way. Otherwise, your hand is going to end up smearing it all, Okay. So again, you need five different values. You need to use at least this size paper. You can do more, okay? And that is your first drawing assignment. Alrighty, I will see you later.